Look at all this. I love this. Oh, look at over here. Do you see this, Soph? Look at that. Oh, look. They're little white flowers. Oh, this is wonderful. It this is. is what I love to do, being with the girls in our happy place, <laughs> taking them out in continents. Yeah. You know, it was embarrassing. It was something I used to hide. It was something that would happen to mom, not me. Uh -huh. Until about a year and a half ago, and the first time it happened to me, I was driving up in the car after grocery shopping. Uh -huh. The feeling would hit me. Aye. And I couldn't even take the time to get the groceries out of the car. I had to get into the house. And then I realized, okay, this is happening more and more often. I took the girls to library time, story time. I had to scoop them up in the middle of story time because the feeling hit me. And I had to run to the bathroom, stressed out, trying to hide it, being embarrassed. The girls didn't know what was going on. And I don't want them to see that kind of a grandma. I decided I'm not gonna hide it anymore. I'm not gonna be embarrassed. I decided to face it. I was gonna be positive and prepared. <laughs> that way, oh, hey, sweetheart. I could spend time with them and not get interrupted. I've learned that if I have this, there's other people out there that maybe have something similar. And I gotta learn to be patient with them. Have you talked to your sister at all about this? I haven't yet. Maybe she could use somebody to talk to. It teaches me that I'm not alone. And it can only help them to know that they're not alone too. And the more you talk about it, the more you can solve your problems. And you take control of it. You gain your confidence so that you could take your own life back, which I did. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I love you. I love you too.